Good morning, oil traders. It is Tuesday, August 8th at 8.56 a.m. We're just over half an hour away from markets open here on the East Coast in North America, and it's sort of news day. We're going to get API news after the close today at 4.30 p.m. Eastern, and there's going to be a lot of speculation uh, going into t trading today here on the East Coast uh, because of the range-bound uh, trading that we've had for the past week or so. Uh, we've basically been stuck, if we flip to the uh, seven day chart here, you can see we've basically been stuck in this same range. We're right in the middle of that range as a matter of fact right now, uh, between kind of the 50 mark and the uh, mid 48s. Uh, I've been waiting for us to get over the 50 and a half or below um, kind of 48 and below in order to trade either buying uh, shorts, buying longs, selling shorts, uh, what have you. And basically my entry last week at uh, 49 and a half, uh, that was a short position, has kind of limited my options um, with this volatility. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't play this very well. If I had sold that short position, I could have repurchased it several times over again. Um, unfortunately, it's just one of those things and I my expectation was that we would drop, we would have dropped and rapidly. Um, that didn't play out. I could have taken several small profits along the way um, with what we've seen over the past week. Um, but I was holding out for the bigger one and I missed out on all of it. So it just goes to show you that uh, greed can sometimes bite you. Um, I don't think I was particularly greedy, but uh, yeah, I could have played this better and lesson learned, I guess. Uh, I'd love to hear if you guys managed to play this at all. Uh, you can always hit me up down below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, um, performance, etc., etc. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, today is API news after the close, and then tomorrow we've got EIA news at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. Um, so those two events will definitely um, snap us out of this range. The question is, in what direction? Uh, that being said, it doesn't really impact my strategy. My targets have been the same uh, since early last week, and they remain the same today. Uh, basically, if we manage to get up, well, there's a typo there. That should be 50, 50. If we manage to get up over 50 and a half, and of course closer to, closer to 51, um, I'm happy to add to my short positions. Alternatively, if we fall, then I'm looking to get out of one or more of my short positions, depending on how far we fall, um, at or below 48. Um, Again, if we continue to fall, I'll be adding to my long positions at 47, or starting to add to my long positions at 47, I should say. And of course, below there. But uh, that's, that's the plan, guys. Um, uh, like I said, uh, if you guys have other ideas, hit me up down below in the, the comments. Until then, uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys towards end of trading today at 4 p.m. Eastern and ahead of that news event at 4.30 following the close. And until then, good luck and cheers.